Welcome to the shaft, everyone, or welcome to the broke miner. Either way around. All right. So on this particular episode, uh, we're getting close to drilling, by the way. I know, I know, I've been saying that for over a year. But no, I'm serious, we are. We are getting close to drilling, which is gonna be kind of exciting once we actually do it. But, uh, all right, so as you guys know, I'm only at the mine on the weekends. Uh, up in Alaska here, the weather last weekend, I didn't go in, it was 34 below whenever it's that cold. Uh, we just don't do anything. Too cold. Everything breaks. So, well, I was gone, though. It snowed like eight inches. So, uh, the, and the dozer's at the mine. And so I have to plow into the mine, which is four miles of plowing with my truck. Now, the plow, you know, it's a western whiteout. And it's not a bad plow, but it's never really was meant to do the job that we're trying to do. Uh, and so today I plowed the first hill and then guess what out plows broken the mount busted so we are going To weld the mount up and get the plow ready so that I can try to go in tomorrow so that's what the setup's about. It's about me fixing the The plow trying to weld it up anyways. We'll see I'm gonna try to do it without taking it off the truck I'm Not sure I can but that's kind of the goal uh, but anyways, hey you guys, you know, if you like us, subscribe to our channel, uh, tell your friends about us, and uh, more importantly, you know, have some fun. Enjoy what we're doing, see, you know, see what we're doing. All right, let me show you what we're going on. All right. As you can see, maybe you can't see in that angle but plow's all busted up right through here. Um, so I've got to push this arm right here back that way. And then we're going to weld her up right, right here. Do you really see what happened here? This thing bad boy cracked all the way across. <sighs> Yeah, you know, this mount is just not designed for what we're doing to it. I might need to get bigger plates to go up a little higher up here. These plates, we, we actually put these on to help strengthen it, but I think I need longer ones to give it way more stability, at least on the, on the front, as you can see. That's pulling it off. But we're gonna weld this all up and uh, maybe that should do the trick just for getting it done. Then of course I've got some chains in the front work that broke off. These guys right here help hold the plow up and down. Uh, lost the other chain. But that's working, oh, and my headlight went out too I'm telling you man I'm just tough all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, porta power from here to here maybe to there and we'll try to push that back that way that's our first thing uh, this is our porta power um, that's a four ton Port of power and and I guess what I'm trying to show you guys though is that I numbered all the places where the pieces go you know number five goes in the number five slot number four goes in number four slot and I, I, I labeled all these and the reason for that is because if you take all this out and they go to put it back together you know what you can't remember where half the crap goes at least that's me. So I simply just numbered it and uh, and put it in. You know, put it back together. I, you know, I think I'm pretty smart as far as doing that goes. Uh, you know, so we'll take it out and and do that. So, anyways, that was just I just wanted to show you that real quick while we're getting the porter power set up. So. We've got this port of power 
set up to that point and we're just gonna crank on it a bit hmm it's kind of lifting the whole thing which we really I don't think we want to do Well, I'm looking at it. Might take these bolts off here. The other thing that we can do is this plate here is put on with these pins. We might take that out and disconnect this from the hydraulics and then line it straight up. I think that's what we'll do. All right, got the pins, the pins out. All right, we got the pin out. Don't want to lose. <laughs> little fabric, little washers here. They're plastic. Let's take that one off. Then, now, I think what we'll do is undo these bolts, these plates, and push this thing back over. So, let's take these bolts off right here. And then we'll, then we'll probably be able to move that around. Everything's in our way. Lights, straps. Well, let's see what happens. Hopefully. Okay. Well, killing ourselves. You know, the problem is lights. You just never have good lighting. All right, I suppose you don't notice this, but uh, I'm not wearing any gloves. You know what? Those gloves are so expensive nowadays, who can afford them, right? Guess we're back to washing our hands again. So anyways, let's, uh, let's see if we can't figure this out. We're looking at a 9 16ths here.
We put these in a few years back because it had started cracking and we noticed it. We were hoping that would do it, but I guess I should have made bigger ones or longer uh, brackets. This poor uh, plow, <laughs> this thing's just coming apart, man. We're, we got it all hooked up with. With ties here, uh, you know, cargo straps. Anything we can do to make it stay, you know? It drives my kid crazy that I do this. He's like, oh my God, dad. Why are you rigging everything all the time? Hey, rigging everything because you can't afford to buy new stuff. That's the problem. Uh, let's get rid of that. Well, I think you guys can see You can really check it out how broke this thing truly is. This is the original plating. But you know it doesn't make any sense though because this arm is what the hydraulics hooks to. And that's what raises and lowers the plow. You would think this thing would be solid steel. Or, you know, not solid steel, but way stronger than what it is. I mean, that's just a little flimsy, thin, thin metal there. Mm. Backside here is all cracked and broken up. All right, well, let's go do the other side. Well, as you can see, this one's really broken. Hopefully, when I undo this, this whole mount won't fall. Probably will, though. Uh, yeah. The whole mount's gonna fall off. So maybe I guess that's why we got this strap here, huh? Well, we're pretty close. Uh, see what a little hammering might do for us. Got to be careful that that guy doesn't slip off. But as you can see, Yeah, let me straighten this up. I'll straighten this guy up and then we'll get it back on and maybe weld it up, tack it on, and we'll go from there. Well, that's pretty close. What we'll do is clean this area up and I'll weld this up first. And then we'll look at the other side and we probably have to heat this up and 
pound it in and then we'll weld up this area here and then we'll work on putting two new uh, arms to help strengthen this this post well use a little brake clean here without gloves just to get all the grease off of it right here Run that up a little bit just so that we can possibly get a pretty decent weld. Okay, we're gonna weld this part first and then we're gonna try to close the gap, kind of pound it around a little bit, work our way to it. Well, we kind of tack welded that in. That's actually pretty good. I might just continue right on through. Kind of tightened it up a bit. So all you welders out there, as you can tell, I'm not a welder, you know? I'm just a miner trying to do his best. Uh, but, you know, we got that tacked on there pretty good. That's not bad. I'll grind her down a little bit so it looks a little more uh, pleasing to the eye, I guess. So we'll take a look at the other side and see what we can do over there. See this side here has still got quite a gap. Okay, let me see what the other side looks like. Alright, so these four inch bolts are too short. So I had to go to the store and I got some fives and sixes. And uh, let's see if we can make this work. So we fabricated these bars, put them on, 
Hopefully, that'll do the job. Slate, do a little tack welding on here, I guess, maybe later on. But hopefully that will keep everything together. We'll weld this up tomorrow. I'll put a type of tax in here just to keep this arm attached to this guy, maybe a little bit on this side right here. Just a tack around. Okay, that's it for modifying the plow. Well, when we finish it up, I'll show you the end product. All right, <clears throat> so we kind of finished the job here. We haven't tried it out yet. I know, I know, my welds suck. I get it, I understand. But we put this bar right here, you know, on this guy. Kind of hard, the lighting in this place is not the best, you know. But uh, maybe that'll help you a little better. Put a little bit of welding on the back side there. Um, and we're gonna run into the mine and we'll see, you know, how well it does. Same way over here, we, yeah, man, that's terrible welding. Woo, but you know what, let's hold it. Let's help it, let's see if it holds. I know, you guys are gonna say stuff about it, but Hey, don't be, don't be hateful. That's all I'm saying. Don't be hateful. Uh, okay, let's find out whether or not our, uh, let's see if it works. Let's raise it. Let's, let's see. Make sure nothing's in our way here. Go to our truck, hit our power. Well, seems to be holding up, and it's way higher than what it was before, so. All right, well, that ends the, uh, the plow segment. Uh, now we're gonna head into the mine, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes, but I appreciate you guys watching our episode. Uh, remember to subscribe to our channel, uh, you know, we're just working stiffs, just trying to get through the day. Uh, we're not experts at any of this stuff. That's what makes our channel a little more unique. Um, you know, we're, we're just doing what, I, what we think the average Joe does, or the best they can. Um, and, you know, we're going to do things right, maybe. We're going to do things wrong, yeah, maybe. Are we the best welders? Well, we've already proved we're not. But, hey, are we good enough? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but as we continue to go, that's what this is about. You know, welcome to the shaft or the broke miner, however we want to call ourselves nowadays. But we appreciate you guys watching us. Tell your friends about us. And stay safe, all right? Stay safe. Remember, don't believe anything anyone tells you, especially the government. Uh-oh. Is YouTube going to snag me on that one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know, who knows, right? All right, we better stop at that. Okay. Welcome to the shaft, everybody, and welcome to the Broke Miner, and once again, thanks for watching our episode on fixing the plow. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.